Well, sadly, for those who are exposed to the elements, I'm afraid that the clouds have opened up and it is teeming down here. There are some fans who are going to get very, very wet. Having said which, there are almost no empty seats. It is a terrific turnout under the circumstances. There's nowhere else to go, in truth, if you want to see this much-anticipated game. So, come rain or come shine, we are here and really looking forward to it. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Leonardo Bonucci. He's as imposing as they come, Peter. And he knows just how to use his, his physical attributes to make life difficult for attackers. He's also got a very good eye for a killer long ball. So don't be surprised if you see him launch a few counter-attacks for his team today. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. That gets things running. Goes direct to the front line. Perez. Chiellini does well there, alert. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Rabio. Rabio plays it forward. And it's Tibala. Morata. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but the. And a second time! defence just wasn't expecting the midfield to mess up then so when they did they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well worked finish too Juventus take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Tries lifting it over. Good challenge. X chance! Danilo drives it forward. Oh, they can break here. Rabio, Dybala, Morata, shot a goal! And yes, it's there! And they're at it again in double quick time! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. <laughs> 
So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And here's Morata, played out to the right. Gets the better of his man. Chiesa passes it square. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And here's Dybala. Goes for goal! Yes! And already they're looking to run away with it. Simplicity itself. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement. And when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Hoists it forward. Pereira. Perez looks to get on the end of this. There's another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. And he's there to clear it. Loose ball, who's going to get that? And here's Mora. He's gone for it! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. And it's easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward. Halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change. The second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Juventus have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action packed 45 minutes and they have raced into a three goal lead. And the game has already resumed here. And here's Morata. That's a good. Timbala! Aslan, Perez, that's a promising ball, he's got away, and it's played forward, and helps available out wide, now it's Dybala, Alexandra, has it it goes to show he is human after all, all he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Aslan, he'll hit it! What a hit, the save was firm. Udinese are really feeling the strain now. Impatience has taken charge. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely, it just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. 
Alexandro. And it's Dybala. Forward it goes. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's got through to him. And now they can launch a counter. Now it's Morata. Now it's Dybala. Going through. Dybala decides to play it back. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. And here's Dybala. Alexandro. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. Juventus, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. And after all the catch in, what are you thinking? Juventus simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo.